would esterification work under basic conditions? That is an excellent question. A lot of these work under either acidic or basic conditions, but this I don't think would. Let me double check that in the book. But esterification, yeah, they only cover acid catalyzed here. And that's a really good question. Let's see why that is. So let's still have the alcohol and the carboxylic acid. But now instead of sulfuric acid, I'm going to add sodium hydroxide. So you steal the H from the OH. From which OH? Oh, no, you steal it from the alpha carbon. No? Yeah, who, so who are we going to steal the H from? From this over here? I was saying from the carboxylic. OH. Yeah. Which of these H's is easier to steal? This, this one over here. Uh, again, remember uh, that, that great joke we had. This is not an alcoholic acid. This is not something that really is very easy to take a proton from. This is an acid. This is very easy to take a proton from. Certainly, this is certainly a strong enough base. Um, so what would happen here is that the sodium hydroxide That would give us this. Now, remember what we were hoping to have happen here was a nucleophilic attack on this carbonyl carbon. But this now can no longer be an electrophile. Why can't this molecule act like an electrophile? It has a minus charge, yeah, it has now. A minus minus charge now. The minus isn't on this carbon, but it's still spread throughout the whole molecule. Remember, the way to make this more electrophilic would be to put a positive charge on it, not a negative charge. So this totally shuts down our nucleophilic attack here. So this does not give us the reaction we probably wanted in this case. We probably wanted the base to aid a nucleophilic attack on this carbonyl carbon, but instead it was easier for it just to take the proton. Remember that acid-base reactions are fast. Oftentimes they'll happen first. So we're pretty much done here. This will be the product. We'll just have a carboxylate. Now, this was the theme I mentioned earlier. Remember that if you have a carboxylic acid, under basic conditions, it becomes a carboxylate. We already talked about how under basic conditions, a carboxylic acid turns into a carboxylate. Would that be a carboxylate salt? Yeah, that's right. Basically, a salt basically just means an ionic compound. Okay, okay. So salt just basically means an ionic compound, pretty much. So yeah, um, if you just draw the carboxylate by itself, we could call that a carboxylate. But if you include the counter ion, it's called a carboxylate salt. There always is a counter ion, but sometimes it's not drawn. But if you draw the counter ion, it's uh, technically called a salt. But the sodium isn't playing any particular important role here. It's just balancing out the charge. Yeah, so um, this is a way to, uh, so this is a way, good way to make carboxylates, but it's not going to give us esterification. OK, that was a, uh, a good point there. there we'll, we'll see other reactions where that can be acid or base catalyzed. But those will, um, well, let's put it this way. Um, so this is a complication of carboxylic acids. This is a way that carboxylic acids are more complicated than the derivatives, because the derivatives are not acids. You don't need to worry about these derivatives getting deprotonated the way this carboxylic acid can. So these are a little bit simpler. The main reaction that all of these things go through is they get attacked by nucleophiles, and then they reform the carbonyl. The main reaction these do is they get attacked by nucleophiles and reform the carbonyl. Carboxylic acids can also do that, but they also has a competing reaction, which is it just be deprotonated under basic conditions. Well, that explains why if we wanted this to be attacked by a nucleophile, we needed the acidic conditions. Um, that's something that oftentimes comes up on tests and really messes students up. They can't believe that the answer is so simple. I've seen this as a test question, where they just put in these reagents. And you have to remember the answer is just to deprotonate, and that's the end of the story. Okay.